Hello every- <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of Banjo Dreamy. Yep, we have made it 10 episodes in. And as you may recall, in the last episode, we have made it all the way to, well, the next note door, which I did open at the end of last episode. And now we are going to go inside. And here we are in the the next level of the game. Yeah, this is actually the start of the level. I thought I heard a monster uh, scream, but apparently not. But anyway, here we are at the next note door. And as you may notice, we have zero notes right now. We actually had 150 as of the last episode. But that's just because we're actually in a level right now. That next note door actually was what led into the next level of the game. So this area right here is referred to as Night and Day Dale. And the reason for that is because it is divided into two different levels. One that takes place during the day and the other one at night. Now, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing the, uh, the notes in order right here. It's kind of a little iffy moment. I don't think that was actually the, uh, the house I was looking for. I'm looking for a house that has a shock pad next to it. Not a fly pad, obviously. I made that mistake twice throughout this playthrough, and I don't know if I'm going to make that mistake again. But hopefully I don't. So anyway, the whole, the whole uh, theme of this level, I think I just found the house that we were looking for, right here. Right. And on top. And we are still collecting Wonder Feathers, even though we won't be able to use them in a while. In fact, is this actually the, uh, the right... The right place. Aw, oh, dang. Okay, just just get over here. Come on, Banjo. Please, get up there. <gasps> Make it? Thank you. Yeah, something you may notice is that uh, for the past two episodes, I've been doing this whole running gag, and here's the first note. Whole running gag where anytime I say, Thank you, I have uh, the image of the flower pot from Mad Monster Mansion uh, just show up on the screen. Because, you know, in uh, Mad Monster Mansion, when you lay an egg inside of the flower pots, they will have flowers appear, and then they will say, Thank you. Although I've seen a number of people on the internet assume that they are saying something completely different, but... Okay. So, we got the first note, and... You know, the flower pots, people assumed, uh... That they were saying something very different. Something that cannot be said. And apparently, the people at Rareware at the time, they actually caught this on, this very early on, where uh, Grant Kirkhope, who does the uh, the voice of the pots, continuously says, Thank you. But he had to keep doing it over and over again, because, well, the people thought that he was saying something completely different. So it appears that the fans are not the first ones to suspect that something is up. Okay, just I just gotta get on top of that because I'm pretty sure, oh wait, the first note is on a platform. Yeah, just like with the last level, I did write down the locations of all the notes so I don't miss any. Don't know how that's gonna help me exactly. Make it, make it, make it. Thank you. 
And I'm totally saying thank you, by the way. Okay, so there's that platform. And next, on platform by river. So, this level right here pretty much has a sort of castle feel to it, as well as a sort of uh, nighttime feel to it. Let's see. On platform by river. Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The spinning bug glitch. Yeah, I actually noticed that very early. Well, I, I noticed that sort of the glitch happened during my first playthrough of the game. And I actually did a video uh, showing it, although it was just still me recording in front of the computer before I was able to record properly, just as I am doing for this Let's Play. And I had been thinking that I was going to need to bring it up during the Let's Play, but as you can see, when I, when I kill the bug, he just spins in a circle, and when you get close to him, you don't take on any damage. Yeah, he's just spinning infinitely like that. And I did actually show the video to Logo, and he, he said that he noticed it too. Have you guys also noticed it if you've also played through this game? I don't think I've ever seen it happen in the original Banjo-Kazooie. Darn it. Okay, so how much? Oh wait, I think I know. Need to go over here. Let me rotate the camera properly. Let's see, is there a shock pad in here? No, it is just a hole. Yeah, I guess... I guess that's supposed to be some sort of a trick. You know, the trick you into just thinking there's something good in Oh no! Go, go, go! Great, gonna have to reset. But no, I was trying to attack as quickly as I could, but something wouldn't let me in time. Oh, I was trying, but it wouldn't let me. All right, come on. Come on, this time, this time. Oh, I saw the red cat rap go out, but nothing happened. I'll cut to when I finally get it. Finally! That took me quite a while to get, but finally did it. I just kept getting up there, and even in cases in which I didn't even try to attack, he still got me. I There were like cases in which I was just going to jump as soon as I got up there without even attempting to attack him, but he hit me anyway. I, I suppose it's a good thing that I actually do cut out the footage of me just failing over and over again so, you know, the video does not get too long for you guys. But, you know, when you're actually playing this game yourself, you are going to have to go through all the pain that this game... Oh, don't knock me off! Don't knock me off! Don't knock me off! Come on, come on. Don't knock me off and do not kill me. All right. All right, so I did look through that video that Logo posted, uh, which shows, you know, indicating where all the notes are right before I started this video right here. Oh my goodness. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. We don't live in opposite town game. If we did, I would have said do fall because that would really mean don't fall. But we don't live in opposite town. So I did look up and much to what I pretty much was right about or had predicted, uh, we do need to collect a total of 20 Mumbo tokens in order to do the next transformation and I am betting that you can figure out what that one is. All right, so there is a note right there but we won't be able to get to it right now, or can we? I'm gonna actually try something. 
Nope, nope, we can't. But we do need to kill these Gorilla Chompas though, because it will be very important for when we come back later with a means of getting... Oh! I was gonna attack you guys, but you wouldn't let me in time. Would you stop attacking me when I can't attack back? That just does not seem all that fair. Okay, let's see. On top of pole on castle. I I'm reading the notes. Oh, we can only carry up to 50 uh, eggs in the game? That, that seems strange considering how in the original game you could carry a hundred. Oh, he wasn't supposed to get me there. I got on top of the box so he wouldn't get me. Not so he would get me anyway. Oh, oh, I, I think I need to use the, the spring shock pad. What? I thought those weren't slippery. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they weren't supposed to be. No, oh, I was supposed to get up there. All right, I've save stated just in case I fail at this again. All right, come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. Disobey her. All right, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. How do you get it? Do I need to, like, use the talent rod or something? Because that's what I'm thinking that I need. Ugh. Yeah, I can't believe I can't... I can't believe I keep forgetting what buttons to push. Okay, so next it says... Okay, how many notes do we have? Six. And it says number seven is under whip crack at top of castle. Oh, I think I know where we are going next. All right, so we need to go to the top of this castle right here. So it will take me a moment. Okay, so here we are, and here is another place where we learn how to shoot eggs. Paul says that we can carry a hundred eggs in our backpack, but we can only carry fifty. And he even tries to give us fifty eggs, but... But we don't have any room for him. Alright, so... One of the notes is under uh, one of these uh, whip lashes. Or actually, whip cracks. Oh. Okay. Alright. So we finally have the ability to use eggs. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, shooting all of these whip cracks. Yeah, there's kind of a difference between the whip lashes and the whip cracks. The, the whip lashes are those uh, pink enemies that you find in Clanker's Cavern, and they are supposed to be like parasites, I think, since they're all found inside the Clanker. Well, in the irregular game, but in Banjo Dreamy, we also see them out in the open. I'm not sure if they're like supposed to be found out in the open, but in this game, they were found out in the open in Memory Meadow. So. There, there is that, and the whip cracks are the uh, kind of the root-like enemies, like they're supposed to be roots. So there's kind of a major difference. Another difference that the ugh. another difference that the whip lashes have from the whip cracks is that there is actually a means of defeating the whip cracks because the whip cracks are somewhere where you can actually defeat them and it is even within their programming. All right, so that's note number eight. Oh, no, don't fall, don't fall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these houses are not, or these roofs 
are not slippery. Let me see if I can jump to that platform all the way over there. Darn it. Maybe if I, no, I didn't want to shoot eggs. I want to use the talent trot. I can't believe I keep forgetting what buttons do what. Oh, wait a minute. There is this platform, right? Wait a minute. Can I get up here? I can get up there. I did not think that I would be able to, but I can. Yeah, the top of the uh, the castle area where we learned how to shoot uh, learned how to shoot eggs kind of reminds me of the top of the tower of Gruntilda's uh, lair. You know, with how the final battle takes place on top of the the tower. Well, that's exactly what the area where we learned how to shoot the eggs at was. Oh, darn it. Okay, uh, it says on top of another tower, yet another tower. I think I know where I'm supposed to go if the camera will just cooperate. Is it like on the other side of that vine right there? Yeah, there's that area right there, but we're not going over there for a while. Don't fall, don't fall. No! Oh, you. I thought you were going to fall, even though I told you not to. No! Darn it. No! Alright, a little further. Come on, this has to be far enough, right? Right? Yes. And thank goodness this part is not slippery. Alright, let me jump on top of that. I said let me jump on top of that. Let me jump on top of that. Thank you. And let me jump on top of this. No, no, no. Oh, okay, so we're all the way down here, but I better save state just in case. All right, come on. All right, and there is another note. I think there's like notes on top of all of these poles right here. Oh dear, where am I gonna end up? Where am I, where am I, can't see. Oh, what I was trying to do was do the rat attack rap. Alright, so here we are in recording session number two for this playthrough. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying that because I did have to, uh... Alright, thank goodness I managed to kill both of them off. And at least I have one unit of health to spare. Now we need to go across this very thin uh, bridge right here. And also very curvy bridge as well. No! No, don't fall, don't fall, don't! Uh. All right, got 10 notes. Got 10 notes. All right, make it, make it just so better. All right, uh, where am I now? All right, here I am. Oh, and I collected that honey piece even though I didn't actually need it this time. But I, I am betting that I will be needing it. Okay. Darn it. Okay, go into view and rotate over. All right. Woo! <laughs> 
All right, so, yeah, we still have not learned the Wonder Feathers, but at least we're not going to have any Wonder Feathers go to waste since Bobbles will be giving us some. Because in the normal game, you are only able to carry 10 feathers at a time. Well, with the exception of uh, Cheeto's uh, cheat code, where you are able to carry twice as many gold feathers. In this case, you're able to carry up to 20. But here, you're able to carry over 30, which is quite interesting. I mean, I think that that would make the game, like, way too easy. <laughs> the chest has just been opened. I guess Link has been here already and taken the real prize. Alright, so, inside the ship, which we were just at, and now in a room full of whip cracks. And I think I know where that is. Right there! in the crack of the wall. Although first, I want to get this mumbo token right here because no, no, don't fall. If you lead the surveyor. No fall. Surveyor. Now we have to collect it again. All right. All right, so we need to find, like, uh, seven more of the Mumbo Tokens. I sure hope that I am able to find seven more in this level, because if I am unable to, I will not be able to use the transformation needed in order to get through the rest of the game. I mean, this is, of course, the last level in the game. And then after that, we just go on to, well, the last area of the game. Which, if you haven't played this game before, I'm not going to reveal what it is, but if you have played this game before, you already know what is in store at the end of the game. I do know what is at the end, but I'd like to save it as a surprise for blind viewers. Okay, next it says above bridge on another thin bridge. Wait, another bridge on another thin bridge? What could that be referring to? Oh, wait a minute, I think... Let me go up this way. I think I know what it's referring to. Oh, and there's another Mumbo token, so... We just need six more. Just six more, and we should be good. Okay, so here's the other very thin bridge that the tracker was talking about. No, don't fall! When will the day come that you disobey me for the final time? I hope it already did. Alright, just gotta keep going with this. All right, there we go. We got 14 musical notes, and I'm gonna jump all the way down back onto the ship. By the way, who owns this ship anyway? Is this Captain Black Eye's ship? All right, and there is a box. All right, come on, get get on top. Well, now that we have the eggs. Oh wait, no, no, not not that. All right, no, not that. No, not that. I'm trying to have the eggs come out from behind. But what's the option to do that? No, not that. Not that. There we go! Oh, well that took care of one. Oh, wrong button. Oh no. It froze again. Uh All right, so I just reset the uh the save state 
I just cannot believe that the game just froze like that. I mean, after it did so that one time, I did not think that it was going to do it again. But it's a good thing I say stated because I really would hate to have to go all the way back and do everything again. I'm gonna cut to the next note. After I collect this one again and hopefully don't get killed by the shark nails. I'm not even gonna bother with the uh with killing them this time because, you know, I would really rather like to get out of here just in case the game does decide to crash again. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. On a floating box, which I'm pretty sure I just got. Yeah, 15 notes. It is number 15. Alright, next it says, on a gray platform. Okay, I think I know where that is referring to. I'm gonna spring first to see where it will take me. Come on, kill the monster. No reason not to. Alright, got five. Yeah, unexpected crashes is another whole reason why save states are so important. Because you never know when the crashes are gonna happen. That was real nice. And look, spinning bug glitch again. Hilarious. All right, got 16 notes, and next one is under another whip crack. Okay, well, I need to figure out where that other whip crack is. Is, is it somewhere around here, or is it maybe by... Oh wait, I think I know. I see a whip crack just dead ahead. All right, 17, and 18 is on top of the ship's mast, so I definitely know where that is. And there is another mumbo token. We are getting the mumbo tokens, yeah! Yes, yes, oh, come on camera, please cooperate with me. All right, this may take me a few jumps. If I do end up failing the first time, I'll cut to when I finally do get it. Well, it didn't take me that many, oh dang, that many tries to even get up here. Oh, well, what do you know? This part is not slippery. I thought maybe it would be, but nope, it's not. All right, so get up here, and there's the note. All right, and number 19 on top of another house in main area. So we, oh, no, not that. So we are pretty much done with this section right here. So now we are going to go back to the the hub area of this level. And I'm constantly jumping out of the water because this is the type of water where you will lose air even though you're not under the water. And you lose twice as much when you are under the water. Pretty much the Rusty Bucket Bay water. Alright, so this section of the level is called Daybreak Barracks. Daybreak, Daybreak Barracks. So yeah, that's the day half of Night and Day Dale. Alright, so now we are looking for another house because uh, my list shows that there are 19, number 19 is on top of a house. And I assume that it is this one. I really wish that I wouldn't push the wrong buttons and make me waste eggs when I didn't want to use them. Alright, come on, jump up. Alright. Alright, so now flipping my paper over, shock pad up to pipe on a box. Yeah, I, I know exactly where that is. Up right over there. Just 
Oh, darn. Uh, reset. So, while I get to that, all right, gotta make sure that I, all right, good. I didn't hit the wrong button this time, except that happened. I think I know how I can get there without worrying about falling or crashing. Both meanings of the word. Don't hit me. Disobeyer. There we go. I was kind of scared that I wasn't going to be able to get it, but I got it. By the way, take a look. Listen to the music. Does it kind of sound a bit sad, you know, like, I kind of imagine that it would be the type of music that plays for when uh, Banjo is talking to an NPC who is having a problem, and that would be the music that plays. Hello, Baron Bird. I am having a problem. Can you help me? I'm trying to get on top of this so I can regain air. Maybe I can't get on top of that one. Let me try again. On, on, ooh, ooh, I got on there and then I fell off. I really hate it when I get on and then fall off. I wish that I could get on and stay on and not fall off if I don't want to. Okay, inside a, another. Inside an underwater pipe. So it is right this way, and there's the pipe. Alright, come on. Yeah, right in here is where the next the next note is. There it is. Now as far as how how much longer this episode is gonna go, I am thinking that I will Oh dear, am I No no don't go that way, don't go that way. Oh no, I I'm almost out of air. Uh Alright, alright, come on, let me on the Let me on the No! Alright, so I have to go and do this again. I'll cut to when I come out with that note. Okay, well I made it and I barely managed to get up here before I ran out of air again. But I managed- Oh no! Did I save state? I did, but it's right here. I didn't even see that thing until too late. I'll be ready this time. Oh, this part's not slippery either. Okay, so anyway, for those wondering how much longer this episode is gonna go, I think that... Come on, Banjo. Uh, not that. I'm, I'm trying to do the ground pound move, but I forgot what... Okay, not that. Not that. Come on! What's the ground pound move? I can't remember it! Okay, maybe... No, not that. Okay, there we go. I don't even know... I I mean, I don't even know... If, wait, I'm... Yeah, the ground pound move. That's... Not that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember it, but I've totally forgotten... Oh my goodness! Oh, and there's another Mumbo token. Okay, so... I got 22 notes right now. And I think, oh boy, let me try to get out of here. No, don't fall. All right, so that's 22 notes. Find chalk pad at back of house at main end and at way end, I think it is called. All right, so I say stated and I am heading on out. So I'm gonna see if I can like get 25 no 25 notes before calling it an episode. Because this level obviously is very long and wow, is that waterfall loud. Wow. Yeah, I think that there is another house with a pole that is this way that I came across earlier that I didn't climb up because it was not within uh, my schedule. Okay, was it this one that I was trying to go up? It says, find a shock. 
Oh, wait, I think I know where that is. It's, it's that one right there. Darn it, that's slippery! I can't see. I can't see. Can I get up there without slipping off? I don't know if I even have time to get into the talent truck once I get up there. Oh, I tried to, but it wouldn't let me. How do you get up there without slipping? Okay, I'm gonna call it an episode. Thank you so much for watching, and in the next part, we will go on to the next area. Bye-bye.